Hi there everyone, welcome back to On the Flip Side. My name is Adam Shawwalker, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at avant-garde jazz fusion outfit Melt Yourself Down with this new album, Pray For Me, I Don't Fit In. This is the fourth record from Melt Yourself Down, a project that seems hell-bent on taking every nuance and aspect of music and kind of pulping it into this grotesque jazz monster. This new album delivers on that quest and delivers a healthy track list that has quite an ambitious reach. And while these songs don't always land gracefully, the attempts to put together Together, such complicated and distinct styles is admirable. The first song, the title track Pray For Me I Don't Fit In, is an anthem of sorts that revels in the weird and uncanny. The groove on this track is infectious with some great rhythm work and a weird jarring synth part that screams over the top of the beat. I also really like this crazy spitting spoken word Spanish part that's being spit out during the first part of the song. I've also noticed that this is one of the few times that there's been a synth in a song that is just exaggerated and over the top and I haven't hated it. I I actually found that it fit quite well, and that's actually a really nice change of pace uh, compared to how I normally feel about these uh, types of synths and these types of, of albums. The vocals on this song do lean heavily into these party-heavy antics that bounce off of the beat through the midsection of the song, with some oddly introspective lyrics that act like a battle cry for weirdos everywhere. This is a great opening track and sets the mood of the album very nicely. It's chaotic, it's fun, and it's very messy. Boots of Leather treads into a jaunty beat that seems intentionally disjointed. The beat kind of layers each new segment on top of itself in a weird way. It's very tribalistic, like they're taking like African rhythms and blending them with some incredibly bombastic songwriting and blues. I do also really like how the saxophone is introduced into the tail end of this track a lot. It helps out a lot with the pacing here, and I appreciate the way that they have developed this song with a very distinct and catchy amount of parts. For Real comes in with a heavy swinging rhythm that is incredibly catchy. This song feels like a blend of jazz with some 90s rock styles. There's kind of a, a lot of very strange places this track seems to be pulling from, like Crash Warship or maybe even some Can. It's really cool to see sounds like that being toyed with here. I do also really like how the vocals take a bit of a back seat in the mix while still guiding things along. It's a gentle weave of sound that they did a really good job with. The whole track is really well structured. Night Siren is particularly experimental with some weird subdued electronic beats blended with these ever-present saxophones all packed in with some heavy uh, bass trap beats that pat out the track really nicely. I would also say there's some kind of like weirdly shoegazy parts of this song, but it's a more subtle element here than everything else at play. I also think the vocals on this song are some of the strongest here with some really cool and intense moments that are tamed with effects and let loose during these driving bass parts. It's a really cool track. All We Have delves further into the use of these heavy bass parts that the last song used. This song almost feels like a bit of a continuation of that song, though with a bit more of a focus here on just the vocals and the bass. The mix here is full and beautiful and pretty simple compared to a lot of the other songs on this album. The track Fun 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 gets back into the groove that this album started on with a very in-your-face horn section that reminds me a lot of, like, MFA. This whole song seems to be dripping with a sleazy attitude, like a, a sweaty pattern long-sleeve button-up shirt gains sentience. And that's a weirdly specific example, but it did work in my head. The song does kind of fall into itself a bit with some of these looping bits that are oddly reminiscent of industrial beats in the way that things stay very consistent through the length of the song. Balance is a huge dance-heavy track that heads further into this unadulterated glimpse into funk and groove embodied. The beat of this song is one of the most straightforward on the album and is incredibly tight which allows for some killer solo work for the sax and some great vocal performances. And the tail end of this song changes things up in a really cool way, then comes right back around to double down on the original beat and sends the song off with a very solid ending part. Sunset Flip kinda touches more on that 90s alt-rock style that they had been playing with a little bit earlier on the album. This is definitely one of the more straightforward manifestations of that style with this almost like cake-like midsection that's pulled apart with some of the most trance-like segments on the album. It's a pretty bold sound and it does come apart at the seams a little bit, but it is still a pretty ambitious and pretty cool track overall. Ghosts on the Run is another pretty jarring song with more big swinging passages that tread hard into bass and mellow electronica. The vocals push the track forward in an almost intoxicating way. And this whole song sonically seems like its intention is to kind of make the listener feel as off as possible, like kind of like subdued or even like drunk in a way. The beat climbs over some really odd drone passages that build and build with the track to a kind of wall right at the end of the song that pulls everything together for a really strong finish. Final track, I Got Time, wraps up this album with a song that has some really nice post-punk sensibilities. There is, of course, this psychedelic jazz storm that this song passes through a lot, but this is a really cool track that I think serves as a really nice send-off for the album. I especially enjoy the bass work on this track. Everything sounds very full and lands in a satisfying groove. The drums really serve as much as 
as a lead on this as they do as a rhythm instrument, passing off the lead with the sax. It's a tight dynamic that they very comfortably play with. I think this album kept my attention pretty well. I think there's definitely some moments here that stand out more than the others. Tracks like For Real, Night Siren, and All We Have make for an excellent streak of tracks that all land really well, but the consistency and quality does tend to fluctuate a lot over the course of the album. Right around the midpoint at about fun, 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 I could tell that there was some stuff that, while catchy, maybe wasn't really the best that could have been presented, or maybe things could have been tweaked or changed a little bit, but it seems like most of this album is pretty top-heavy. I did still enjoy most of this album. There are a good number of tracks here that I would consider playlist songs. As it sits, Pray For Me I Don't Fit In, I'm feeling a very solid 7 on. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the album in the comments below, and if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel even more, maybe consider checking out my Reverb or my Instagram. Links to those are in the description below. Thank you all so much again, and we'll see you on the flip side.